going to the Grim So Taker Report. Um, you remember a couple of weeks ago I said Dave Tennant is joining the cast of AKA Jesse, you know what I'm talking about? Well, Jessica Jones. Um, there would seem another Doctor Who alumni is joining a television show. Arthur Darwin, Darville, uh, better best known as Roy on Doctor Who, and Paul Coates on Border Board Board Church, has joined the cast in development. Flash and Arrow spinoff. As long as DC Comics characters Rip Hunter, as reporting Monday by Rap, Hunter is described as a rough, ruggish. Time traveler who hides the strings of being responsible for history itself, being in the far of charm and wit at the as yet unite the CW series has been to feature three characters from DC Comics history, but not be seen on TV. And Hunter would fit the bill. He hasn't been suspected to live action. Thought and appeared in episodes of the animated Batman, Brave and Bold. This is the second announced addition to the series revealed today. Following the earlier news that Ciara Renee has been cast as Hot Girl, it's a pathetic way of putting Hot Girl. The show is outside of the current plot cycle with. A possible debut of mid-season next year. The Flash and Arrow spin-off set the star Broad Ruth. Brandon R Rout Ruff? Root? I don't know. R-O-U-H-T? R-O-T-H? Ray Palmer and the Adam on Arrow. Wheatonworth Miller and Leonard Snart. Captain Cold Flash. Demonic Purcell. Mickey Roy. Heat Wave. On Flash, Victor Garber, Martin Stint, one half of the Firestorm on Flash, and Kat Katie Lott, and as yet unclosed Roe following the death of her Arrow character of Sarah Lance. At the start of this season, Flash and Arrow, that's Andrew Kibberg, Greg Ballard, and Mark Gunnam with exclusive producer. So yet another Doctor character making a comeback in a non-Doctor Who way. But who they got the cast is Hot Girl. Well, this is DC again screwing up with understanding of what color a comic book character should be. I know. Oh, you're you're not complaining because she's not a, she's not white. Well, yeah, I'm gonna complain because she's not white. I mean, it's different for the guy who's English, who's a white character, yet you put a Mexican or Latino to play a white character. There's a difference there. He's English. He's white. He's playing a white character. Now, if he were to play a Mexican or a black character, everybody would an uproar. But if a Mexican or a black person gets a white role, we're not the same anything. We're saying, oh, you say anything, it's racist. No. Racism's a double-edged sword, everybody. Thing is, that's the pathetic thing about this rule, about this law. You can wait, be hating on whitey all day long, and nobody cares, because you're white. Well, we're, the minor we're not the majority any much anymore because you guys, they keep coming over here. So, yeah, I'm, gonna be I'm not going to be racist. I'm going to be as blunt as possible on everything Hollywood does that's stupid and I think is moronic. Next thing you're going to know, oh, somebody, if they do a remake like they've been doing in Hollywood, Remake, say Will Smith's part, and happy, you know, in pursuit of happiness, and they make him a white man and a white kid. Oh my God! 
No more claiming the racist card. Do you want equality? Stop having the racist bullcrap thrown in there. Stop playing white parts that are meant for white people. Clearly, because everybody knows hot girls white. Stop doing that. Stop getting white parts like Will Smith. Everybody knows Deadshot's a freaking white guy. It's in every comic book. It's even in the freaking video game. But yet Hollywood chooses to deny us some responsibility and decide to put diversity in everything. So, oh, he's... Oh, then the comic book is going to make a cartoon with Deadshot being a black guy, and that is art. No, 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 no. That's... Like I said earlier, Hollywood's screwing up on two points. They're giving parts to the wrong people. And I'm not saying they're bad actors. This one's a good actor. I'm just saying is that it a white person who took one of his roles meant for a black person. Clearly, like, say someone took the role of Luke Cage, put him a white person, make him a white person. You guys will be on uproar. Uh, it's true. He's clearly a black guy. Well, Deadshot's clearly a white guy. Um, Hot Girl's clearly a white girl. Um, shall I continue? Oh, yeah. Jimmy Olsen, clearly a white guy. With red hair. So yeah, shut your mouth about me complaining about it if you're saying anything about it. Because it's true to a fact. Even these comic book geek guys know this. They're the ones that should be causing the most uproar. So yeah, when a white part guy takes the part from a black guy, keep your daggum mouth shut from now on. You ain't got no reason to complain. There's plenty of actors take roles that are not meant for their color. So, yeah. That's what I gotta say on that. Stop complaining. Till next time, guys. I know this sounded racist. It's not. It's just that People who are playing a part they shouldn't be playing should not be playing that part. White or black. It doesn't matter. Hispanic, white, black, Hispanic, Indian, whatever. Shouldn't be playing a part they're not meant for. Regardless of, oh, you're saying, oh, they got the skills to play that. It's not the point. It's not the point. Because if person, say a white group of white guys played a group, play, played a part for a group of Mexicans or a group of black playing people that are clearly black because they've been in the news, or clearly Hispanic because they've been in the news, but yet a white person plays that part, you're all moaning and complaining. It's racist. It's racist. Or, or they were for that part, or you're doing the same thing I'm doing. There is no racism involved. It's when something's clearly clear as the glasses on my face. As see through as glasses on my face, Hollywood screws it up. And says, oh, it needs to be it should be this because I want this to have diversity. You can always just like in comic books, they can always add a character that's meant to be that color in there. Or just make someone a completely entirely different. Same thing goes with the part that's a white guy. Or a black guy. Clearly the same Stop with the racist boys. Hollywood want to screw something up. They have no reason to make this person this color. It's clearly the wrong color and you know it you just don't care oh it's different universe that's what they freaking claim that's what they claim then change the name of a villain see what I'm saying they won't do that change the name of the superhero they won't do that 
that yet yeah, they're willing to change the color of a person to suit the demographic. To suit. Not because he's a better actor than the person who, the white guy who tried to take the part. Because they want diversity. This world's about diversity. Okay? But yet they won't give a white person the part that was meant for a black guy. But yet they'll give a part that was meant for a man to a woman. Change up the entire script for that person. But yet they'll give a part that was meant for a white guy to a black guy. Because of a demographic. But I'm more on that subject later. I'm thinking of making another video on that. Good luck. Good night. Peace out. And you know I got the truth on my side.